what's going on gangsters as you can see i pimped out my shirt it had sleeves so i just fucking trimmed it if you like it great if you don't like it that's also great so today i'm going to make a slightly different video to what i normally make and we're going to be talking about comfort zone breakers yes those difficult things those things that scare you that force you to get out of your fucking comfort zone and into a slightly uncomfortable situation but you know what these things are going to make you grow they're going to make you a fucking better person on every level you're just going to go to the next level and you're going to enjoy life much more ironically because most people feel like they're going to enjoy life more if they're just comfortable and certain all the time but the magic happens when you just step outside of that zone if you go beyond fear and you just face it man okay so what are they i've made a list of 20 things that you can do to get out of the comfort zone now some of these things you may have done or may not have done but um nonetheless here's a list okay so number one is go hang gliding now this is something that i haven't tried and it's something that seems very exciting but also a little scary at the same time so this is something that i would like to try and i'm sure most of you watching this video haven't tried hang gliding so yeah that's number one number two say something ballsy to an attractive woman on the street now this is one that i actually did two <laughs> i did this one two days ago it was like this really tall chick she was a little bit taller than me and i'm 183 so i'm really tall for a guy i'm, I'm six foot tall so i'm like fucking hell you tall eh <laughs> and she had a good little laugh from me saying that so that was something ballsy that's something i normally wouldn't do it was out of character but you know i like getting out of the comfort zone and I'm, I'm embracing it these days it's good okay so do an unsupported bike tour solo now this is something that even after 13 years of riding i haven't done i haven't done a solo unsupported bike tour so I've definitely got to do that number four is quit your porn habit this is something that i've been struggling with for many years well since i was a teenager i've, I've always come back to porn in one way or another i mean i've had periods where I fasted from porn for maybe four months at a time or five months at a time but I always end up coming back you know because it just it's like a really stimulating thing that just gets your your dopamine it gives you your dopamine hit basically so that's definitely one that I think many guys out there especially guys because guys are the ones that watch porn not so much women so yeah quit the porn man number five go and check your phone first thing in the morning now this is something I'm guilty of and I'm sure a lot of you are guilty of. So resist that temptation to check your Instagram or your Strava or your Facebook or whatever. Just the first half an hour, just wake up. Or not even the first half an hour, just start your morning routine, your to-do list, just get it fucking done. And just check your phone after you've done the important things for the day. Now that is pretty much heavily getting outside of the comfort zone. <laughs> Number six, get a fucked up haircut and walk around like that in public. Now, I know someone who has done this, and he says he's gotten some really interesting stares from people, and people are even scared of him. Yeah, it's Duran Ryder. He's cut his hair all fucked up. And it's something that I want to try, you know, just to, to really overcome that feeling of giving a fuck what people think about you. That is something that we can all work on. We can care less and less and less what people think about us. And once that muscle is strong, we have reached an insanely new level of freedom. All right, number seven, learn a new subject or skill. Let's face it, there's a lot of things we don't know how to do proficiently and that will benefit us a lot in our lives. So, and learning something new is challenging, especially at first. It's not gonna be easy, but once you know that skill, it's gonna improve your life so much. So for me, a new skill that I could learn that will improve my life a lot is bike mechanics, just to become a better bike mechanic overall. So maybe like, changing the cables for my gears and my brakes i don't know how to do that properly yet so yeah i can definitely improve that skill number eight discuss a taboo subject during a family dinner now i've been at many family dinners and i've discussed quite a few taboo subjects and i've gotten a lot of backlash for that but that might be something that you aren't comfortable with so definitely give it a try and just get used to people giving you shit but just fucking maintaining alpha confidence all the way just be confident in your beliefs and you'll find that it doesn't matter what the fuck people say you're going to feel great that that really strengthens your emotional muscle 
Okay, number nine, quit social media for a week. Yeah, this is one that I'm sure a lot of us will struggle with. Because I'm addicted to social media like a fucking heroin addict. So, yeah, definitely try this one. I, I have to try this one for sure. But the thing is, I can't really quit social media because social media is my life. But I can maybe just quit passive social media because that's one thing I struggle with a lot. It's just passively scrolling on Facey and Instagram and all this other nonsense. Number 10, make a YouTube video about comfort zone breakers. So, yeah, that might be one that's, I'm sure many of you haven't tried because this is a unique idea. Number 11, make a phone call that you are scared to make. So this could be maybe like a salesperson that you need to call or a hot chick that you want to hook up with or maybe a hot guy that you want to hook up with, anything. Just make a phone call that, that scares you, that, that you... When you, when you pick up that phone, your, your heart's fucking beating like this. Make that phone call. Just do it. Number 12. Get a big ass spider walk on your arm. Now, I got the inspiration from this one from Darren Ryder. He had that big fucking spider walk on his arm and he even put it in his mouth. He didn't walk out his tongue. So, Ugh. I'm, I'm definitely scared of trying that one. So, if I'm, if I'm scared, it's good. It means I'm going to grow. I'm going to overcome a fear. Number 13, travel to a new country. Yeah, I should get my ass out of Thailand. Enough said. Number 14, try public speaking. Public speaking, it's something that I haven't done a lot of in my life and I definitely think that I would grow a lot. I would learn a lot from doing that. I mean, I have sung to crowds. I have done um, singing. And I think that's sort of the same kind of thing. So definitely something that we should all try. It's actually rated as like the number one fear of most people. So public speaking, let's do it. Number 15, focus on pushing yourself harder than you ever have for a workout. Now I see a lot of people who just, they finish a time trial or an interval and they just look fine afterwards. I'm like, fuck it, did you even try? Did you even give it a shot, bro? So yeah, next time you go for an interval, just focus on giving it fucking everything. You must lie on the floor, passing out. That's how hard you must go. Just do it. Number 16, organize a threesome. <laughs> now this is one that might not apply for most people, but for me, I would still like to get this one right in my life. Eat food that you wouldn't normally eat for a day. That's number 17. So I could wake up maybe just eating something completely different to what I'm used to. So I could maybe start with buckwheat and then have vegan cheese for lunch and then maybe durian for dinner. Just eat something completely different. Um, number 18, embrace a confrontation you've been putting off. So there might be something that you want to say to a loved one or a friend or even a girlfriend that you just haven't had the balls yet to tell them. You should definitely embrace that potential confrontation that could happen from that. And you'll find that you feel a lot better. All right, number 19, don't complain for a day. I'm sure this is one that a lot of us struggle with. Um, we should just catch ourselves every time we complain, just become aware of it, like just um, repeat this mantra in the morning before you start your day and then just say, I'm not going to complain for today. And when you complain, just say, ah, no, I'm not complaining and then focus on something positive, focus on something that you're grateful for. Number 20, wake up at 5 a.m. and knock five things off your to-do list before night. Now this is one that requires some hardcore discipline. But I promise you, if you do this one, you're going to feel fucking fantastic. You're going to feel like a champion. You are going to feel like the conqueror. Alexander the Great. My second name is Alexander, so it works. Okay, so that's 20 things that you can do to get out of your comfort zone. Comfort zone breakers. So get out there and do it today.